हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड पोटेंशियल ऑफ हाइड्रोजन पी एच एंड पी एच स्केल सो दिस पी एच स्केल यू माइट बी अवेयर इट इज फ्रॉम जीरो टू फोर्टीन ओके बट दिस पी एच स्केल इज बेस्ड ऑन इट इज बेस्ड ऑन आइनिक प्रोडक्ट K W of water. So how this comes to zero four zero to forty? That is based on ionic product of water at twenty five degree Celsius, or you can say two ninety eight Kelvin. The pH scale is defined is defined zero to fourteen. so zero means it is going to be strongly acidic 14 means it is going to be strongly basic as we are going to let's say change from zero to let's say 1 2 3 4 like that the the concentration is going to decrease and you can say ph is going to increase at ph equals to 7 right that is going to be neutral 0 to 7 is going to be acidic solution neutral solution and 7 to 14 is going to be basic solution now you must remember it is at 25 degree celsius if somebody ask ph equals to 7 at 25 degree celsius then we are going to say neutral solution but somebody asked let's say ph equals to 7 will be at 90 degree celsius then it is not going to be neutral so it is a fun fact that ph scale 0 to 14 defined at 25 degree celsius if we are going to change the temperature whether we are increasing or decreasing the ph is going to change so and why this is changing because it is based on ionic product ionic product simply means i am giving you some brief idea ionic product simply means the product concentrations of ions the product of concentration of ions so let's say we are saying water water is going to break into h plus and oh minus so ionic product of water that is represented by kw is nothing but h plus and oh minus and this kw so the the concentration of h plus ion concentration of oh minus ion and the product of these concentration this is going to be ionic product the kw is is equals to 10 to power minus 14 at 25 degree celsius and that's why we are saying the ph scale ranges from 0 to 14 so i'll tell you one fun fact if we are increasing temperature if temperature increases if we are going to increase the temperature kw is going to increase kw will increase so kw will will increase means see over here tends to our minus 14 means thus this is written as this is written as kw is written as 1 upon 10 to power 14 right so if kw is going to increase this power and this part is going to decrease so that's why at 90 degree celsius the kw that's a changes to 10 to power minus 12 kw right so that's why i told you if the power in negative is decreasing that means kw is increasing because this is written as 1 upon 10 to power 12 right so if this value is going to increase this is going to decrease so now at 90 degree celsius the ph scale is ph scale is 0 to 12 
and if the pH scale is 0 to 12, the pH of neutral solution is going to be 6. Okay, so pH of neutral solution. So if pH scale is going to change from 0 to 12, where is the midpoint? 0 to 12, the midpoint at 6. So 6 is going to be neutral solution and 0 to 6 is going to be acidic and 6 to 12 is going to be basic solution. Now if somebody said pH equal to 7 will be so 7 will come after 6 right 7 will be here. So tell me whether pH equals to 7 will be neutral or basic. So the solution is going to be basic. So you have to remember this pH scale 0 to 14 is defined as 298 Kelvin or you can say 25 degrees Celsius. If we are going to increase the temperature, if we are going to increase the temperature to 90 degrees Celsius, Kw is going to increase, Kw is going to increase, then pH scale will change, pH scale will change, the pH of water will change, right? New, pure water is going to be 6 and 7 will become basic. Similarly, if we are going to decrease the temperature, let's say if we are going to decrease the temperature, if temperature decreases right the kw will decrease so if temperature let's say is reached to 0 degree celsius right kw will reach to kw will reach to tends to approximately tends to our minus 15 okay so kw will de decrease means right if we are going to write the power has increased right from 10 to power 14 it is written as 10 to power 15 okay so that's how you can see 10 to power minus 15 means the kw has decreased from the initial value 10 to power minus 14 that means ph scale will be is defined as 0 to 15 the midpoint of this scale is 7.5 so 7.5 means this is the pH of pure water or neutral solution. Now over here the 7 will lie the left hand side of 7.5 over here 7. So this is going to be acidic solution. So next time if somebody asks pH equals to 7 is you need to figure out the temperature is. If the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius then it is neutral. But if the temperature has increased, the pH scale has decreased, right? The pH, pH scale has shrunk and that's why the, the, the midpoint is going to shift left hand side and the pH is going to be 7 is going to be basic. If the temperature is going to decrease, pH scale will increase, pH scale will increase, pH of water midpoint is going to be like so shifting right hand side from 7 to 7.5 and the 7 is going to lie left hand side acidic solution okay so this is the shortest let's say important thing which you can remember as a summary i'll give you a one trick to remember <coughs> so temperature increases kw increases ph scale decreases ph of neutral solution or water pure water decreases okay so earlier we are having 0 to 14 we are having 7 over here so now the temperature has decreased uh, sorry increased let's say the temperature is 30 degrees celsius from 25 degrees celsius we have increased to 30 degree celsius temperature has increased the ph scale will will decrease ph of water will decrease so it will it will shift left hand side the ph 7 is going to be falling into basic part so ph 7 is going to be basic if we are going to do opposite if we are going to decrease the temperature kw will decrease ph scale will increase ph of neutral solution or pure water is going to increase 
if it is going to increase the pH of water now is going to be 7.1, 2, 3, 7.5, anything it can happen. So pH 7 is going to be acidic. Okay, so it's a fun fact you need to remember it is based on ionic product. Now let's see some more information about pH. So how to calculate? The formula is simple. The pH means negative log H plus. And if we have to write, let's say H plus concentration, then it is simple, tends to our minus pH. So let's say if somewhere it is written as, we have given, let's say written 0 0.1 0 .1 molar HCl solution, if it is given, and it is said, find pH. So if it is given 0.1 molar HCl solution, the concentration of HCl is given as 0.1 molar. What is going to be pH? So first we are going to write HCl is going to break as H plus plus Cl minus. So one molecule of HCl will give one H plus ion. So 0.1 molar will give 0.1 molar H plus ion. Now you can write formula. So the formula is very simple. We already know concentration of H plus ion is 0.1. So concentration of H plus ion is 0.1 or you can write it is 1 by 10. Right. So that's it. So pH is nothing but minus log H plus. So we are going to write minus log 1 by 10, which is going to be, this is written as log A by B. So if somewhere it is written as log A divided by B, that is means log A minus log B. So we are going to write this minus log, let's say we are going to take minus common. So minus log 1 minus log 10. Log 1 we know that is going to be 0. So minus minus is going to be plus and log 10 is 1. So that's why the pH is going to be 1 minus minus plus log 10 is 1. So pH is going to be 1. Okay, so we know how to calculate pH if the solution acid solution is given. Let's say I'll give you one more example. If somewhere it is written as 0 0.1 molar H2SO4 solution whether the pH is going to be same so we have to think H2SO4 gives 2 H plus ion so from the mole concept you can understand one molecule will give 2 ion so 0 0.1 molar will give 0 0.2 molar so concentration of H plus ion is 0 0.2 molar. Remember, this is the concentration. How many H plus ions are going to be 0 0.2, 0 0.1? One molecule will give 2, 10 molecule will give 20, 1 mole will give 2 moles, 0 0.1 will give 0 0.2. So now if you have to calculate pH, you are going to write minus log H plus then you can write minus log right h plus ion concentration what is h plus ion concentration i am writing again that is 0 0.2 or you can say 2 by 10 so we'll directly write 2 by 10 so that is going to be minus log 2 and this is going to be minus log 10 now log 2 value you have to refer log table and you can remember this is very common also this is this information log 2 is approximately 0 0.3 so the answer is minus 0 0.3 and this is minus 1 so 0 0.3 minus 1 is minus 0 0.7 so this is minus of minus 0 0.7 which is going to be 0 0.7 so the pH is going to be 0 0.7 okay so that's how we are going to calculate pH